new study finds in parts of the U.S. where face masks are mandatory. As many as 450,000 cases of coronavirus may have been prevented. That is new research shows improving ventilation significantly lowers how long the virus stays in the air. Here's CBS's Dr. John LaPook. Tonight, a major tool in the fight against coronavirus could be right inside our homes. Experts say crack a window, open a door. That's because the virus can float indoors. When we cough or sneeze, droplets containing virus can travel. Larger ones usually up to about six feet. But smaller ones, particles called aerosols, can float invisibly through an entire room and can be produced through normal speech. And the zinger for this virus is that basically the aerosols become airborne and potentially infectious for hours. Kimberly Prather has spent her career studying aerosols. If it gets into the aerosols and it fills a room and everybody breathes that air, that just opens up the number of people who can be infected. Aerosols, as shown here, could help explain events like a choir practice in Washington state in March, where one person likely infected 52 others. We're not recognizing the potential for airborne. Joe Allen is director of Harvard's Healthy Buildings Program. Opening up the windows is easy and cheap, but what about actually changing the ventilation system of a big building? I'm not saying people have to go out and, and revamp their entire mechanical system. Bring in a bit more outdoor air, which most building systems can do. And if you're recirculating air, you need to improve or put in a higher efficiency filters. In fact, every building can be a healthy building. It doesn't cost that much to get us there. New research suggests sunlight can deactivate the virus in aerosols. And wearing a mask provides another crucial layer of protection against the airborne spread of the virus. Nora? Dr. John LaPook, thank you.